I've hit record. It's official. Let's pull her up. Where to go? Okay, here we go. Not me having a panic <laughs> about this disappearing. So y'all can't see this. Y'all want to see it? I guess. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Sari. The choice of on one of your girls music video. Beautiful. Stunning. I mean, I've always known Troy Sivan is beautiful. I mean, I watched him when he was like a 15 year old. <laughs> that sounds weird. I was also younger at the time. I watched him when he was like 15, just in his bedroom making YouTube videos. And now look at him. Just slaying. Slaying in every way. I feel like his marketing team is really doing the most too for this album. Like he's collabing with Tube Girl. And then he'll be, he collabed with Mike's Mike, and then he was in Italy, and then he was in the US. Like, they are not letting this album flop, which is good, because I feel like, I don't even remember which album was Troy Sivan's last one, you know? But now I, like, can't escape Troy Sivan. Oh, Burger King Pride Whoppers was real. Thank you, Lydia, for that confirmation. Also, we are using a pre-made tier maker for this because there are so many FNAF characters and I was not about to go through and do it all myself. The issue is defining what a character is in Five Nights at Freddy's can be kind of difficult. So I would go through some of these like all characters in Five Nights at Freddy's things and some of them wouldn't have phone guy or they wouldn't have, I don't think this one has purple guy technically. Like they were all missing them but I tried to look for the one that had like the most core, at least to me, FNAF characters. But even saying that, there are some on here that I don't quite recognize. Oh my gosh, happy little pill. Did you see on the Zack Sang podcast, he was saying that he wasn't going to perform Youth anymore? And that song is like 10 years old, isn't it? Maybe, maybe not quite that old. The vibes. The vibes. I think he's just tired of it. To be fair, I feel like um, if I think about it in like terms of my YouTube videos, if I had to constantly redo one of my YouTube videos from like when I first started, I would get tired of it at a certain point too. But I feel that, but alas, who knows? Maybe if we bully him enough, he'll change his mind. <laughs> That's generally how it works. But anyways. Let me get into these categories. I thought long and hard about these. Let me move this on or zoom out a little bit. Eh. It'll just have, it'll be just be blocking it. Oh, the, so the phone is there twice because there's a phone guy in FNAF 3, who's different from the phone guy in FNAF 1 and 2. I'm assuming that's why it's there. So I'm going to treat it like that. Oh, hi, V-Long. But honestly, I'm not even familiar with all of these characters because I think a lot of these are from like the Help Wanted game. And I know like the lore of that game, broadly speaking, but I could not name some of these. Like, who are you? So some of these are just going to be based on vibes. And some of these are going to be based on like, you know, my deep knowledge of the franchise but for our categories since we're unfortunately covering up the text a little bit uh the top category we have is absolute smash and then just below that i have smash but i don't want to talk about it uh pass and then absolutely not but yeah generally speaking it's going to be a swipe left or a swipe right situation and then we've got most of the characters Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're, we're good. <laughs> Accidentally backed away. See, some of these lists had like other characters from the books too. And I couldn't recognize those because they're like based on fan drawings. So I'm like, I don't know who these people are. Um, I, yeah, like what, who is that? Who is she? <laughs> we'll have to figure it out. But I'll, I'll name the ones I do at least now. First ones I definitely know, of course. Yeah, we do need MatPat. <laughs> I always need MatPat. So 
our first, we just have the classics, which I definitely know. We have Freddy. Her, 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 her. I don't know if he would make that sound in bed. I would definitely say he has some enticing eyes right now, looking right into my soul. But also, I'm a little, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like Freddy is going to go into the smash, but I don't want to talk about it category. Because he's, he's certainly, he's certainly by no means an ugly animatronic, but there's something a little off. Yeah, he could be ferocious for better or worse. I would agree with that. Um, Bonnie. Hmm. I feel like this picture isn't really doing Bonnie favors. Obviously, because I'm Bonnie for Halloween, I have a soft spot for Bonnie, but I don't know if that means I'm attracted to Bonnie in that way. Um, but also, Bonnie is really tall, and that's kind of all it takes, right? Yeah, he's, and he's also, he's also got something in his eyes, too, I would say. Yeah, want her, want to be her, the classic struggle. I'm gonna say, well, do I think that Bonnie is sexier than Freddy? I mean, yes, because he kind of gives me that vibe of like the Timothy Chalamet skinny little cigarette <laughs> twink. <laughs> That's kind of the vibes, dare I say. So yes, I'm gonna take a stand. I'm gonna say absolute smash. Yeah. Also, People don't know if Bonnie's a boy or a girl, and, and that's a vibe. That's a vibe I can get down with. All right, Chica. Chica looks a little terrifying in this rendition. I feel like this is probably, well, it's definitely not Chica's worst, but <laughs> Chica definitely gets much better than this, I would say. Um, but I don't want to tear women down. Because I know that there are other Chicas I like more down the line, I'm gonna put her in pass, but that's no disrespect to Chica as a person. Love Chica. Love her work. She does great things. Foxy, I mean, this is a very easy decision for me. Absolute smash. We don't even need to discuss that. I mean, come on. I don't think this is Foxy's best picture, but absolutely. I would say Foxy's probably the most attractive one from that lineup easily. Now we have Golden Freddy who just kind of stands like this, and then you die. Um, which is not dissimilar from my own life, I can say. I think I relate to <laughs> Golden Freddy on some level. But, um, I, I don't think I'm into it. I don't think I'm into it. Now, phone guy, first phone guy, who tells us famously that the animatronics do get a little quirky at night absolute smash absolute smash the guy's a freak and he gets eaten by animatronics afterwards so i don't know if that would be before or after we were done with him i guess we'll find out <laughs> all right and then we move on to the toy animatronics which golden freddy does kind of give the vibes of those TikTok boys just death stares or you know what he who he reminds me of he reminds me of that guy who's like I ain't never seen two pretty best friends the guy who just like reads Twitter posts on TikTok and then occasionally he'll have like a really like woke take and we'll be like whoa I didn't expect this from the ain't two pretty best friends guy that guy I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but I just see the connection all right so the toy ones are hard because because they look more toy-like, they also look more childlike, and as a uh, general rule of life, that's going to be a no. <laughs> but uh, and also the they use the black eyes, which is not the only eyes they have. Oh, baguette lord sixty nine. <laughs> wait, should I be doing this in my cosplay? Just you wait. <laughs>
All right, now that I'm in my proper attire, <laughs> I will not be wearing these ears to the theater because I think that would be disruptive to other people's viewing experiences, potentially. But I am dressing up as Bonnie <laughs> for Halloween, and my, my friends are going to be Freddy, Foxy, and Chica, so <laughs> in case people weren't aware. Yeah, and then Josh Hutcherson, Goose, will be, is right behind me. All right, I don't know how long I'll keep these on because they are kind of heavy, <laughs> if you can't tell. But we'll keep them on for now. I think it adds to the vibe. Yeah, I can understand not being a, a fan of the dirty, disheveled ones, for sure. I can understand. It is a lot of teeth. Um, Freddy. <sighs> Toy Freddy. I think it's honestly the same as the first Freddy. Smash, but I don't want to talk about it. Um, Toy Bonnie. I do think, as I say in my Toy Bonnie ears, I do think Toy Bonnie is very cute. I think this is one of my favorite Bonnie designs, but not in that way. I just think it's generally very cute. I mean, they all have a lot of teeth. I would say pass, but it's just because I think he's very cute and I think we should be friends. Toy Chica, on the other hand, I would say is a bit of a freak. And I would say um, she's definitely above the original Chica in my mind. I mean, we do all have a lot of teeth. That's true. <laughs> I'm going to put Toy Chica. I'm not even going to think about it in the smash. I don't want to talk about it because, yes, she is a little scary, but aren't we all? Aren't we all? Yeah, the, the tiny cheek, the tiny teeth in Toy Chica is a little disturbing. Okay, Mangle, again, I feel like it's going to be pretty consistent when it comes to the Foxy adjacent characters. Absolute smash. No question. We love Mangle. You don't like, oh, you don't like Chica's mouth? Yeah. Now, now this is a lady. The bite of 83, that's my girl. She did that. And proud of her. All right. Um, I would say the child animatronics are pretty consistently, if not totally, going to go in the absolutely not category because they're five year olds. <laughs> so we're just going to put those in there. Puppet. Puppet. Uh, although, technically speaking, these are all kind of possessed by the ghosts of children, we're not going to think about that. We're we're going to assume that they have their own personalities and they are this is separate from their possession by the ghost children. I'm not interested in the ghost children. All right. The puppet is definitely a smash for sure. Uh, again, another Timothy Chalamet-esque character. That is the only reference I have. If they look like Timothy Chalamet, I, it's a smash, I fear. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. And I just need y'all to get on board with that. Um, now this is Withered Freddy? Honestly? Something about it I find intriguing. <laughs> yeah, this may... <laughs> this may all be a, a very confusing to someone who has not played the FNAF games, and I'm sorry. It's honestly not much less confusing if you have played the FNAF games. Uh, Withered Freddy, I'm gonna say Absolute Smash. Honestly? I like his smile. Withered Bonnie. Uh, again, I think that's gonna go in, in the Absolute Smash. Uh, even though there's no face there, I don't know. Again, it's... The body attached to it. Pretty, pretty A-OK. -okay. <laughs> the puppet is very whimsical and mischievous, I agree. Um, toy Chica, or Withered Chica, too much teeth. And maybe I'm biased, maybe I'm a misogynist, because clearly these two have plenty of teeth, and I'm... That's not bothering me. Um, actually, yeah, they have... I'm totally being misogynist, because they all have the same amount of teeth, basically. But I don't like how her jaw is like unhinged like a snake. I don't know. It scares me. 
it really unnerves me. I mean, she's doing her job. She's being scary. Yeah, a, a bird with teeth is scarier. That's that's what I'll you. That's what I'll say. Yeah, I don't I don't trust it. So we're, that's actually going the absolutely not. And I'm that again. No disrespect to Chica. She is a woman. I don't know if she's in STEM, but I assume so. I would believe in her. All right, Foxy, you already know. Absolute smash. Absolute smash. Um, oh, okay. And now we have like a withered Golden Freddy. Now this is fun. Again, I really like the the blank, unstaring eyes. Not not too much teeth. You know, <laughs> he's just he's just vibing. Maybe he's just yawning for a really really long time. Oh, yeah, we haven't gotten a spring trap, but we all know the answer to that one. Mm. But is he on this level? I don't think so. I don't think so. So he's going to go in the past. He's not the worst of the worst, but he's just going to go there. And then I don't know which one this one is actually. Or this one. I'm not going to be able to name all of these at this point. This looks like some sort of Shadow Freddy, I'm assuming. Or maybe this is Shadow Freddy and that's Shadow Bonnie, from what I remember. Um, yeah, because they're all like hallucinations. Again, I mean, it's like a it's a hallucination. It's like a, a ghost. I don't even know if there's anything to smash. And it's pretty scary. Yeah. Well, this is, these are all from the third game, I think. And in this one, you're like breathing in toxic fumes and you're hallucinating most of these. So they're not real, technically. So I'm going to say, I'm going to pass on Shadow Freddy. Shadow Bonnie, now this is terrifying. <laughs> hate that. Absolutely hate that. I am definitely, that's going in the absolutely not. Uh, this guy, I don't even know, it's like the, the inside of one of the suits. I don't even know what, what to do about him. I'm going to say absolutely not. I don't even know who he is. Now, Springtrap. This is not the best picture of Springtrap. There are, there are much better pictures of Springtrap, spring trap, and perhaps that's what's biasing me here. The heart wants what it wants, and he kind of gives me... Hmm... Let's, I'm trying to think of someone who looks <laughs> kind of like hot in a haggard, worn down kind of way. Someone who looks like they don't sleep very well. And the only person I can think of is like Willem Dafoe. Is that who it is? Who looks like the robot from Shark Point and Lava Girl? Who, a balloon boy? You mean George Lopez? So many of these could actually look like George Lopez from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. But anyways, I'm basically leading up to try and justify that it's an absolute smash. <laughs> it is. And it almost goes into the smash. I don't want to talk about it because I feel like that's going to be controversial, perhaps but I'm living in my truth. All right, now we've got these guys. So like, I feel like they these guys would all be kind of slimy and icky. Oh, this guy looks like George Lopez. It's like the eyes. But I feel like these, even though, again, they're not solid, I just feel like they would smell bad and be kind of slippery. So, that's not really for me. So I think, honestly, all of these might go in the absolutely not category. Sorry, this is Blue Star's gonna jump in and be like, if you had a Discord, you could put, you could put the, the photos in there. I know, I don't have a Discord, you can put these things in. I'll imagine it. I'll imagine it looks like something from Sharkboy and Lava Girl. Now this is, is this a foxy thing? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it looks like it has like algae on it. 
I don't even know. I I would say that this maybe this is Foxy and that's Mangle. Um, uh, I'm gonna put these. I don't think they're as bad. These are going to go into the past category. Balloon Boy, absolutely not. Um, now this. It's the unfortunate truth. It just is. With his long, lanky arms. He's so slender Slenderman coated, you know? All right. Now this looks like we've got like an orgy option down here. We've got Freddy with um, multiple different little Freddies down here. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Um, I'm going to say absolutely not because it seems like a lot to handle. Oof. These are all, we're, we're getting into some real scary ones. These are the nightmare animatronics, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh my gosh, I just noticed Balloon Boy here. That's rough. Okay. And then we've got Nightmare Bonnie. Ugh. Ugh. So many teeth. So many sharp teeth. I mean, what are you even supposed to do with that? I know. <laughs> they said more teeth <laughs> with each FNAF game. They get more teeth. One Freddy size Freddy versus 100 Freddy size Freddy. That is a battle I would watch. Um. No, I don't. Honestly, I was about to say put them in the past, but then I was looking at it compared to these and I'm like, they're not in the same category. Like, no, they're scary. What are we supposed to do with that? I feel like I'm really disrespecting Chica, but no. Terrifying. Now, <laughs> you know, I always have a soft spot for Foxy, but even this is pretty, pretty rough. Yeah, they're, they are all sharks, but I mean, are sharks sexy? I guess that's the question. At least this Nightmare Freddy has like some eyes to look into, some nice, sexy eyes. But you know what? He gets put up here. Teeth are still terrifying though. Yeah, he's he's putting in a little effort. He's a nice guy. This one. Hmm. The eyes are, are getting to me on here. The eyes are, are doing something. I know it's a lot of teeth. I think that goes without saying. But he seems passionate. He seems, um, you know, like he, he knows who he is. He knows what he's giving you. But, um, that it, all of that to say, <laughs> unfortunately, I think unfortunately that is a smash for me. Uh, all right. <laughs> the little, the little toy Bonnie from FNAF. Four, I think. Or Golden Bonnie. This is gonna be a no. This is gonna be a no. Ugh. I mean, that just feels like... That just feels like a creepier version of, like, my Build-A-Bear Axolotl. Like, no. That's not what that's for. He's crawling towards you because he's eager! <laughs> I don't care what, if he's eager. I'm not eager about it. I'm gonna put him in here and then we've got oh i don't remember these guys we got like burning bonnie of some kind um hmm to be honest the lack of like defined eyes i feel like is losing it for me uh i'm gonna say no not into it Burning Chica, on the other hand, I'm into, weirdly. Although, I would say Chica is more mask presenting on fire than... Oh, you all can't see it. Chica is more mask presenting on fire than she is normally, which... I don't know what that says about her, but that's just um, something I'm observing. Yeah, she is hot, literally. Uh, I'm gonna put her, actually, in the Absolute Smash category. You know, 
little little surprise twist for y'all. He, they, lesbian, chica? That's the representation I want. All right, we've got another Mangle here. Mangle's another one I always have a soft spot for. Um, I mean, it's not the same as this. It's definitely not. But honestly, the face, like the bones of what makes Mangle Mangle is still there. So I'm going to say Smash, but I don't want to talk about it. it. It's not as good as this, but it's pretty good. Now this, I hate. <laughs> this, I do not like. The teeny tiny little teeth and the just soulless little eyes. Ugh. I didn't think there would be a puppet I would pass on, but no. No, no. But is it a pass or an absolutely not is the thing. Let me, let me look for comparison. I mean, it's not... It's pretty similar to like the Shadow Bonnie. I guess it is kind of Undertale coded. It is kind of Sans coded. And Sans is, I like Sans, I guess, enough. <laughs> but maybe if he closed his mouth, it would be better. If I saw his mouth closed, maybe I'd be like, okay. But I don't, I don't see that right now. So actually I'm gonna put him in the pass category. Take that brave stance. I mean, Sans is for sure a Tumblr sexy man. I won't, I won't argue that. But I feel like Sans has a little more face structure, and he definitely doesn't have those little jagged teeth. Um, and then Balloon Boy. I feel like any Balloon Boy is gonna be no for me. All right, we've got the Please Stand By Mangle. Always for our girl Mangle. Okay, and then we've got like a endoskeleton little guy. One of our first endoskeletons. We're probably gonna be seeing a lot more of that. I hate it. Um, I feel like you'd cut yourself on this. I don't even... The, the teeny tiny tiny little hat is kind of camp. <laughs> the teeny tiny ha hat that's not in proportion to the ears I kind of love. But, uh, I'm going to put him in the pass category. Yeah, lo the logistics on that one are, are category. Did I just, <laughs> I was thinking too fast. The logistics on that are complicated. All right. Now this guy, I remember he talks a lot about exotic butters and he does have a sexy voice in the game. I do remember that. Mm -hmm. So if y'all haven't seen the FNAF games or played them, you might not get it. But honestly, um, it's not like a hard smash, but I would smash. Yeah, we're getting into the deep cuts. This is from sister location now. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> we're doing it to him. All right, now what do we think about, oh, Circus Baby. <sighs> I mean, again, because Circus Baby is like a child animatronic, I'm probably gonna be like, no, I do think she is a sleigh. I do think her design is really cute. I think it'd be fun to cosplay her, but I don't really know. Oh, hi, what the meme next -y. Hello, hello. So I'm going to put her in the past category. I think I think her design is cute, but she's not for me. But Lara, on the other hand, adult woman, ballerina, self-made. <laughs> Definitely a smash. 100% easily. All right, let's zoom out a little bit so y'all can see a little better. Let me see if I can just adjust this because I just feel like I'm lock in half the screen. It's dead space. There we go. It's a little better. A clown girlfriend that is also a ballerina? Yeah, she does it all. I don't remember what his name is. 
think it's Funtime Freddy. He's like white and pink. I'm really testing my FNAF lore today. Um, we, we love a man who can wear some pink, for sure. Um, dog shampoos, according to some, some animations and fanfic out there, they do. <laughs> I don't know if canonically they do, but people like to think that they do. Um, I mean, I feel like this lighting isn't really doing him the most favors. But I don't think he's bad either. I'm going to put him in Smash. I don't want to talk about it. I would honestly, if there was a middle tier in between, I would put him in there. I just don't think... Well, the thing is, hmm. I put Bonnie, Toy Bonnie there. So... I don't know if I really want to Smash. I changed my mind. I'm putting him in pass. This is tough. This is tough. There are more FNAF games than there are Chicken Girls seasons. There's like... I think there actually is like... Eight FNAF games? Not quite Chicken Girls level, but not far off. I have to count through. One, two, three, four, five. And then Help Wanted. And Security Breach. Seven? And then there's books. There's a lot more books. And then there's gonna be the movie. There's a lot of lore. I didn't include any of the book characters for anyone just joining because I don't know what they look like. Would the middle tier be yes if they initiated? I think that would be a fair, fair assumption. I would add that, but we're already so far through. So I might just add that disclaimer to some of these I'm putting in the past category. Uh, toy Mangle or Playtime Mangle. Yes, that's that's her at her best. And she may say, if you don't love me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. But, you know, I'm toxic. <laughs> I'm toxic and I don't want to touch the algae, <laughs> algae mold mangle. Who knows? Hi, Weather Nerdy Boy. Hello. We're doing God's work over here. Okay, this little guy. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. And I don't like him. I don't like him. Uh, I don't really like any of these guys to varying degrees. Uh, I don't think he's as bad as these two. But I'm not into it either. Yeah, no. It looks like a little baby. Pass. These two, absolutely not. No demon children for me. Ooh, okay. This is, I think, fun time Bonnie. I don't know. I'm really... <laughs> People are gonna be like, Rawr. you don't even know the FNAF lore. I'm, I'm trying to guess. There's so many versions. But regardless, or I think this is the little puppet guy. From what I remember. Either way, love me some Bonnie. If, <laughs> if you can't already tell. Love some Bonnie. Yeah, that's, that's Yossified Bonnie for sure. Or this is Yossified Bonnie. Oh yeah, this is the little puppet Bonnie. That goes with this. Um, I would have a three-way with, <laughs> with these two, I would say. Um, now, now we have these little faceless little guys. Um, something about their smiles feel very warm and welcoming, I would say. Um, this time we have the opposite thing where there's actually not too many teeth. A very common problem i would say with these FNAF animatronics so i don't feel like this would be that bad of an experience you know there's there's two of them it could be fun and interesting so i'm gonna put put him there Ooh. okay now we've got withered circus baby and honestly i'm kind of into this version of circus baby in my mind, this is aged up Circus Baby. And I feel like she's, you know, discovered Avril Lavigne. <laughs> she's started listening to Simple Plan. I know, it is baby in the name. In my mind, yeah, in my mind, this is aged, aged up, okay? We are, 
again, we're separating this from, from the ghost children attached to all of these. Yeah, she feels like she feels like a Tumblr girl. She feels very, um, dare I say Debbie Ryan <laughs> coded? Debbie Ryan in like the darkest timeline, perhaps. So honestly, I'm going to put her in absolute smash. <laughs> no, I have the guy who talks about exotic butters, though, too. I mean, I didn't make this tier list. I tried to go through. Some of them did have the exotic butters as a character, but then they had other characters who I just had no idea who they were. So I chose the best one. Oh, Josh Hutcherson isn't even on here either. I mean, obviously, Josh Hutcherson, and I don't remember the actress's name who's in the movie, too. They're both an absolute smash. This one... Hmm... I feel like when they don't have, like, defined eyes, it's harder to connect with them. Like, this is just kind of a, a blob of... <laughs> I'm gonna say trash, but that feels dismissive. It's just like a, a blob of wires. I Elizabeth Lale. Yeah, she was Anna from Frozen and she was in uh, the first season of You. I'm excited for her. I'm excited for her character. I think her character's name is Vanessa, which if, if you know, you know. But I assume that they're not going to do Vanessa stuff in the first FNAF movie. That would be pretty crazy. Anyways, uh, I'm going to say pass. Not really evoking a lot of emotions for me either way on this one. All right. Now we've got, um, what's his name? I'm blanking on his name, but I know who it is. The bad guy taking off the bonnie ears. They're falling off. Uh, it's William <laughs> something. I mean, it doesn't really matter. He's been punctured with the spring lock, lock suit and bled out, left for dead in a building that burned down, but somehow he's still alive and fighting. I don't really know the logistics of how that happened. He does kind of give incel vibes, unfortunately. But, I mean, the heart wants what it wants. <laughs> he is doing the no bitches face. I forget his name. He also has a specific name. This is the one that's made by like the puppet, puppet's dad. Um, honestly, I'm kind of into it though. <laughs> I like this design. Lefty, thank you. This is Lefty. Lefty was made to track down the puppet. I'm into Lefty. I'm gonna, I'm honestly, I'm gonna put in an absolute smash. I feel like <laughs> this specific face maybe isn't doing him justice. The wink is a lot, but I've seen Lefty with both his eyes open and he's a handsome little guy. Oh, Weather Nerdy Boy, they all have different names and I've lost track at this point. <laughs> Earlier in the stream, I could actually name all of the distinctions. We're getting to the point where I no longer <laughs> know the names. And then we've got, oh, is this repeating? It looks like it repeats for some of these. Or do we just go through them all? Oh, I think we just went... Hmm... What's happening here? Some of these we've definitely already done. Okay, well that'll be interesting to figure out. Uh, this phone guy, I don't remember the voice on this one. I... <laughs> Not the Zootopia abortion comic tier list. <laughs> Never! I know nothing about this. I don't know why I keep getting dragged into this Zootopia fanfiction conversation. Y'all are praying for my downfall. I don't remember this phone person's voice recording, but generally any phone guy I'm going to be a fan of. So... Um... I guess I'll say Smash. But again, I really don't remember. I'm kind of just going off a hunch. And we've got... All right, now we're getting into the help wanted characters and I definitely, I know none of these. So this is gonna be purely on vibes. <laughs> Messing with Springtrap is a dangerous game, I agree. Oh my gosh. 
Um, this little guy. Pass. Pass. This line is going to be purely on vibes. I don't even really know. There's just the help wanted little guys. Um, this little cluster of things. Cute, but I mean, no. Ooh, this is like an early Monty design. A, a Yossified Monty. Um, <laughs> that is the millennial selfie face right there. Mm, guys, uh, I did a thing. Uh, Monty? I think this is like a girl Monty. I like her. Um, it's not that I don't want to talk about it, but I just wouldn't put her in my top tier. But I'm into her. Like the Yossified Monty. This little, uh, is this a hippo? Not super into it. Uh, don't really like. Also, gonna be the same for this little pig. Not super into it. Um, this little, like, heh, Freddy. Um, not bad. Not the worst. To be honest, this one would probably go in the middle fifth tier if I had it. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna put him here. He's not bad. Pig and I don't want to talk about a category. You know, I can see that. I thought about that briefly. I understand. I think, again, this would, some of these would definitely fall into a separate fifth tier that does not exist. Would be my defense for all of my takes. Okay, Um, this elephant little guy, no. Ooh, we've got like a little robot thing. Uh, rainbow. Gay. Yeah. Sure. Into it. I understand. All right. Then we've got like a Yossified Freddy with a little purple hat. Uh, love that. That's going to be a smash. Bonnie, of course. Smash. Now this Chica... They did my chica so dirty, may I say? May I say? Also, are the security breach characters not on here? They're not. I mean, Vanny is there. But, um, this tier list is broken. That's unfortunate. This one... <sighs> the makeup, the lipstick, it's not for me. Oh my... My lo-fi end? No, it didn't. We're still good. Um, this one, not my thing. Yeah, the teeth placement is is probably what does it. Foxy with the little parrot. I mean, always Foxy, always Foxy. Um, hmm. This little puppet guy. Uh, too many teeth. Too many flat little teeth. Who's Dev Patel? I can't picture them. This one is gonna be... Is it gonna be an absolutely not? Honestly... Hmm... No. No. Now, this we've got like a Sombrero Freddy. Love that. He'll serenade me. <laughs> he'll he'll sing Wonderwall for me. That's not part of why I'm clicking Smash, but that's just like a fact I could see about him. This one I like a little bit more. I think it really... You're so right about the teeth placement. Because this one I don't mind as much. I, I like this Chica. All right, Balloon Boy, you already know. Um, that might can go in the past, though. I don't know if there is context for Sombrero Freddy. I think, I assume he was just like a random help wanted thing. I think they had to come up with like 60 designs, so the quality varies. Um, this guy, I don't know who he is. I don't recognize him. I know the purple guy. I don't know this one. Um, but I'll put him in Smash. I'm intrigued. 
All right, and then we've got like Shadow, Golden Bonnie, and Freddy. Pretty into these. I think these are both gonna go in Smash. Let me see. Now I gotta zoom out so y'all can see the whole picture. Oh, and then we've got- why did they include these little toys? Oh, this is William Apton in his weird little suit. Um... <sighs> Unfortunate, but... but true. It's true, we're- we're keeping a pretty good even distribution. Equal opportunity. Like, yeah, I wouldn't be happy about it afterwards. But I, I wouldn't say no. Uh, these little plushies... are no. <laughs> That's just a furry. <laughs> no, I don't remember this phone voice guy. So, sure, he can go in there. Um, this one, I think is also some sort of Afton... thing. But I kind of like his vibe. I'm going to put him here. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll put him in Absolute Smash. He kind of gives me himbo vibes. Feels like a safe space. And then we have like random repeating ones for some reason. All right, this little golden boxy. I don't remember this guy. What is this? What game is this guy from? I don't recognize him at all. Um, Yeah, Smash. Sure. And then we have Vanny. Vanny is an absolute smash. We love Vanny. And then we have Michael. Absolute smash. For sure. Because he grows up to be purple guy. And that's when he's at his best. When he's like a reanimated corpse just walking around. That really does something for me. Um, Scott Cawthon, the creator of these games. Absolutely not. Uh... Famous Republican donor. No, thank you. <laughs> Unfortunate, but true. Okay. I didn't realize the security breach characters weren't on here. We need to add the security breach characters real quick. So give me a second. We're not done. I'll gather them. We got Freddy, Roxy. Here, why not? I'll, I'll show y'all what I'm up to. Looking, looking at these guys, and then security breach, Chica. <laughs> sure, we'll do her T posing, and then. We need Monty. Looking great. Vanessa. Yup, yup. And you can add like the sun and the moon, right? Do the sun, moon, and there are more characters, but security guard bot. We'll add all of them. Okay. Alright, there we go. Now we've got them all. Hang on, let me... Bring y'all back so I can look at the Twitch chat once more. Yeah, Security Breach was famously... It was the one game Scott Cawthon didn't work on, or he worked on part of it. But he... 
people found out that he had donated a bunch of money to Mitch McConnell and I think Ted Cruz and something else. And so he no longer works on the FNAF games directly, I think for that reason, but also I think he announced that he was going to be retiring. So it was like, maybe it was because of that, maybe not. So it was made by a different development team and it was the first like open world version. And if you watch the trailers, you can really see the potential for like what they were going for, but they tried to do too much in my opinion. And like the FNAF storyline is already kind of complete. So the story is meh, the gameplay is meh and it's very buggy. But I, I know people enjoyed the DLC that recently came out and I think the character designs are really fun. So it's kind of a bummer. But we've got Roxy, who is a female, uh, or a femme foxy, I should say. And she slays. We do love her. Monty. Honestly, I, I put the Security Breach characters in here because pretty much all of them are going to be a smash. Yeah, like, it was Ted Cruz and Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Monty, new, new guy on te in the block. Oh, we didn't include... I forgot Bonnie from that game or the picture of Bonnie. I want to put that in too. Or I'll just show y'all. Can't really find a proper picture, but Bonnie, smash. Bonnie, smash. And then we've got um, Moon, smash. Sun? Um, Smash, but I don't want to talk about it. Not on the same level. Uh, Security Breach, Freddy, dare I say, this is one of my favorite Freddy designs. He looks so good. Love that. And he said, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Vanessa. I have to go to the bathroom real bad. <laughs> Y'all remember that? There was this one TikTok account that kept making like dubs of that one scene. And <laughs> he'd be like, Vanessa, I, uh, uh. <laughs> so good. All right, security bot. Oh, his head cut off. <laughs> Smash, but I don't want to talk about it. His head cut off, unfortunately. Vanessa. Smash. Vanessa, Vanny, we love them both. And then finally, Chica. Smash! Smash! And there we go. That's all the FNAF characters I could think of. Not counting the movie characters, I guess. And then these are all repeats that we've already done, so ignore these at the bottom. I don't know why that happened. Here we go, here. I'll, I'll zoom in so y'all can see a little better. I think we got it pretty evenly distributed. I think we were pretty fair, rational, thoughtful in our choices. <laughs> what was the candy boy? Oh, balloon boy? Yeah. All the balloon boys are, are rough, in my opinion. I think there's even more like little endoskeletons. Like, let me show y'all the tier list choices I had to choose from because they're all very confusing. I back up. Will it? There we go. So if you look up with just like all FNAF characters, every single one is different. Oh, so that's the one we just did. Uh, and then we have FNAF Smasher Pass. This one had a bunch of different things, but they were all things I didn't recognize. Like, this one doesn't have Phone Guy. It doesn't appear to have, like, Purple Guy. It has Chica's Cupcake in here multiple times. It has different endoskeletons. Yeah, the Cupcake is dark-sided, dark and twisted. It does have Bonnie from Security Breach. What? What, what is this? Hello? Oh, I lost, I lost sight of it. What is that? What is that? Black and white Foxy, I don't even know. What is this? What is this little guy? Yeah, there are some dark-sided things. 
on these FNAF tier lists. And they all have different characters. None of them are consistent. Like what? What the, what the, what is this? The definition of a character is very, um, I would say ambiguous. What is that? What is that? No idea. I'll buy dog shampoos. Oh, and then that one's got more security breach stuff. <laughs> They've got like six or seven different security bots to choose from on here. Ooh, I kind of like this Chica though. Yeah, the cage with eyes, what is that? I don't, is that still on this one? Oh, and then they have the crying puppet <laughs> or the, the crying children. William Afton burning. What is, why is Chica the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> why is Chica the Statue of Liberty? What is happening? <laughs> What is happening? Oh, see, this is a better picture of Toy Chica. I would have put her in <clears throat> in the Smash category if she had, you could see her beautiful blue eyes. What is this? Like, there's too many, too many FNAF characters. FNAF, 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 FNAF. Let's see what this one has. What are these? Don't know. The cage is back again. The cage is a very popular. There's a gumball machine with a face on it. Who is this guy? Who are these people? This one says, no one is here. I'm already inside. What does that mean? See, this is why I couldn't make my own FNAF tier list because we'd be here all day. Just going, trying to sort through all of these characters. It's impossible. Absolutely impossible. Gumball Machine is absolutely like Tony the Talking Clock from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Well, that's the Tumblr Sexy Man. So was the clown a Tumblr Sexy Man? That's a, a bold statement, if true. Let's see what this one had. Again. This one isn't so bad, but I would say this one's missing a lot of characters. Like... Are the original? Okay, the originals are there. A, a fair amount of Tumblr sexy men, I would say, are clowns, <laughs> whether literal or figurative. I mean, you can have any occupation and be a Tumblr sexy man and let that be inspiration to you all. It's true. <sighs> kind of all I had for today. I am, um, I am gonna make Dan's Freddy hat and ears today. I do that after the stream. I would show y'all, but it probably wouldn't be that exciting for y'all to watch. But I'll definitely show y'all the finished product tomorrow. But also, uh, Tumblr sexy mans are tall. That's very true. How would it not be exciting? Because it would just be me um, with a hot glue gun. Yeah, we're going to be... Well, I'm going to be Bonnie. My my two friends are going to be Chica and, Fre and Foxy. And then Dan's going to be Freddy. And Goose is going to be Josh Hutcherson. Yeah. I'll definitely show you all the finished product. I think I'm going to... Watch some Mary Kate and Ashley movies because, you know, I got hard work to do. <laughs> hard work to do reviewing Mary Kate and Ashley movies. I'll probably, I know it was a short stream, but probably gonna cut it off here, do some of that, do some hot glue gunning, burn my hands, and then we'll finish um, Thornton Hall tomorrow. Oh, except Blue Star just cashed in a goose cam, and I can't possibly deny that. All right, let's do it. He's a sleepy boy. There he is.
There he goes. <laughs> he loves to stretch his back legs like that. It's his favorite thing. Oh, he knows he's a star. 100%. Oh. For the goose cam. Apologies. Goose immediately said, no, no goose cam, actually. Wait, here he is. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Blue Star, but <laughs> Goose is feeling camera shy today. He said no Goose Cam. Goose is 60, 60 pounds last time we took him to the vet. He's part um, Chesapeake Bay Retriever, which is like a type of Labrador. It's like a Maryland specific thing. Why is it when you, when I look at your thumbnails, I see different people on them? Uh, I don't know, other nerdy boy. It's all just pictures of me and then pictures of people from the game. I don't know if that answers your question. <laughs> or I just look different in every stream, who knows? Yeah. Yeah, Goose is an injured boy. He's okay, for those who weren't here earlier. As in pictures of you, I look different? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just my face. <laughs> I I can't answer that one. Yeah, those are the, the curly coated guys. Exactly. Laffy Taffy. But he's here at, he's here getting pets. You can see my hand moving. He just refuses to be on camera. But anyways, folks, I hope y'all enjoyed this stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off here. And then, like I said, watch some Mary Kate and Ashley movies. Hard, hard day of work, but I hope y'all are doing well. And I'll be streaming tomorrow night. And we'll be doing some spooky ghost things. So have a good rest of your day, folks. Bye.